What's going on guys, Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new team of the season moments card and it is going to be Danny Olmo to review today. Now this guy with his 5 star skills and his 4 star weak foot is looking outrageously good. He's got 94 pace with 94 dribbling, 88 shooting, 90 passing and the 80 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 10 player with high medium work rates and he even has got the lean body type as well. Now when it comes down to the chem style, I have gone for the Hawk chem style. There's two other chem styles you could possibly go for. The Hunter chem style if you want to give this guy 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Obviously it's a good thing to have but for me I feel like you're just wasting that acceleration so there's not really a point. But the other one is the Marksman. If you do not trust in these reactions only being 87 only by the way then obviously marksman chem style could be the way to go when it came when it comes down to the dribbling. But for me, I'm going to trust in his dribbling ability. I feel like it's going to be good, especially for a player that's got 5-star skill moves. So I kind of wanted to go for the Hawk chem style, giving this guy the extra sprint speed, giving this guy the extra shooting stats, but also giving him strength and aggression. So yeah, for me, Hawk chem style is the way to go. So he has got 99 acceleration with 94 sprint speed. So he's an insanely fast player. Now his shooting ability, he has got 98 attacking positioning, 92 finishing, 99 shot power, 90 88 long shots, 88 volleys with the 81 penalties as well. And he actually has a shooting trait. He has the outside foot shot trait, which is something you'd love to see. Obviously, it's not the finesse shot trait, but it is what it is. Now, his passing ability, he has got 91 vision, 90 crossing, 88 free accuracy, 91 short passing, 90 long passing with the 84 curve as well. For someone that's most likely going to be playing in that cam position, his passing ability is simply incredible. Now, his dribbling ability, he has got 92 agility, 99 balance, 87 reactions, 95 ball control, 95 dribbling with the knife for composure with the five star skill moves as well and you best believe we're gonna be having be having a bit of fun today with those five star skill moves little lack of care to cancels heal the hill they're all gonna get pulled out today either way physicals he has got 85 jumping 94 stamina which we all know is insanely good for a cam 79 strength with the 87 aggression now even though He's not the strongest of players. He's not the weakest of players either. Like, he actually has a decent amount of strength to his game. But look at that aggression. 87 aggression. Now, that is something you love to see. You know if this guy's going to lose the ball in a certain area, he will always, always try to fight, uh, fight back for it and probably even come out of it. Now, when it comes down to the links for this guy... Leipzig is okay for links. Obviously, you get some decent players when it comes down to Leipzig, but it's not. I wouldn't. I would say it's not absolutely insane for links in this game. But a Spanish link is very good. There's a lot of good Spanish players that you can actually link up this year. So him ha having decent links as well is always going to be a plus. But I have personally gone for Bundesliga players and a certain icon by the names of Hulle. I've also got the likes of Royce, Kimmich, and Waman in this team. Now, when it comes down to the positions, 4-4-2 striker position because I definitely want to give him a go there because the stats looks like he can actually play there but I will try him in his natural position as well in a 4-2-3-1 in the cam position so let's get into the games we'll roll into the inside give it to Neymar give it to Olmo because he made a really good run hold up boys I overdid this. Oh my god, I overdid that by so much. I literally could have gone, I could have gone forward and probably just scored a goal. But you know, apparently I want to overdo stuff sometimes. But he even did well to get that near on target. Him hitting a post from that kind of angle is pretty good. To be fair to him, Neymar, give it to him, bro. There you go. Scoop, turn it. Reverse. His skill moves feel so nice. Can we get the finish? We are gonna get the finish. Just using skill moves to obviously create the angle and the finish was beautiful. Double way into Olmo. Good touch. Good turn as well. Hill the hill going up. Pass to the inside. Well played. I want to see his movement here. He's going to make that down movement, which is literally perfect. But my God, Virgil van Dijk going for a crazy slide tackle and denying our goal scoring opportunity. Give up to Hullet. Pull it through ball Olmo. Oh my god, look at that pace. Power shot towards in near post. I trusted, trusted him when it came down to first time hitting it. And what a finish that is. But do you see the pace? The guy had no chance of catching up. Pass it there. Nice. Give it to Olmo here. Go for a reverse flip flap. Go for the power shot across goal. Weird animation. Very, very weird animation. I don't actually think I've seen that animation in FIFA 21 when it comes down to shooting. But even though it was a weird animation... He's still got on target, which wasn't bad. Kimmich, can I pass all the way down? I can. Nice touch from Hullet. Olmo, bro, are you going to make that run? I have noticed, by the way, his movement in the striker position is very weird. Like, 
He doesn't really like to get in behind very often. If he scored that, by the way, that was a terrible, terrible angle that I put him into. But hey, the shot wasn't actually too bad. But yeah, I am noticing his movement. And in a striker position, it is a little bit weird. He's like always, and I repeat, always coming short. Nice run but there. Good fake shot around the corner. Inside, that's beautiful. That is literally, literally beautiful. The way I just did the, did the ball roll to the scoop turn to get in front of the player is perfection. And the shot was really good as well. I think he went top bins. Should we try a free kick from this far out? This is 32 yards, you know. 32. You know what, actually? This guy's not really covering the fake shot. So we're going to go for it. He's actually put someone on the line, by the way. He put someone on the line when the thing is 32 yards out. And this is what you're going to get. We're going to get that fake shot little tactic. Lacoqueta to get the angle towards the near post. And my God, the shot power behind that shot didn't give the keeper any chance. Any chance of saving it. Royce on the ball. Gives it to hurl it through the middle. I've told Olmo to make a run here. Can I give it to him? I can. Play that wide ball. Early wide ball. Hill to hill round the keeper. And we are going to get him that assist. It was just a simple pass. But it's a pass that was effective. Well, man. Nice fake Rabona, bro. Neymar to Olmo. I have moved him, by the way, into the cam position. So we are going to see how he's going to play there now. For me, in the striker position, he was... Oh, my God. He was playing well there. With, obviously, his pace and shooting and dribbling. It's just that movement didn't seem, you know, spot on. Neymar. Give it through the middle. Good dummy. Hold up. Flick around the corner now. Oh, can we get there? Oh, my God. Well played. Well played. Oh, who is that in goal? Is that Pavlenka? What am I actually seeing? What a save either way, though. Double way into the inside. I like how he's came short there. Give it to Neymar. He makes an instant run going forward. And that is something I'm noticing, by the way, while he's playing in that cam position. He's made like two slash three aggressive runs already. As soon as I'm near the 18 yard box, he goes bombing up the pitch. Give it to Neymar. Give it to Olmo. Nice touch. Really good touch, actually. Going to go for that power shot towards in the pose, and we are going to get the goal. Now, did you notice his positioning as soon as I passed it to him? He was pretty much in level with Neymar, and Neymar is the striker we're talking about here. So, yeah, I can already tell you guys that this guy is going to be super aggressive going forward, and he really does like to make those runs in behind. Pass it there. Nice. Can I go for a turn here? I can. Well played. Fake shot. I see Waman making that run, so we're going to go for the LBY all the way to the top, and it's going to be a nice pass. Now, Waman, he takes a decent touch, but it's not going to be the greatest. <laughs> X-ball it. Nice, that's a good pass to Neymar. Good win as well. Fake shot on a stop, because I see Royce all the way to the top making that run, and it is going to be a spot-on pass. That kind of passing ability in a cam position, by the way, is super nice to have, because you know you can start off like a counter-attack really, really quickly. And can we score fit? Can we? There you go. Neymar's going to get the angle eventually. Wow, man. Keep going. Keep going. Pass to the inside. Well played. Good touch. I'm going to... Yeah, I was about to say. I was going to take my time because I did see a sweat all the way at the top. But I knew the guy was probably going to try to cover it. So just kind of fake it out a little bit with a skill move. Make it look a little bit better. And just power it it towards a near post. I'm telling you guys, I've done that in so many occasions where I just go for a power shot towards a near post. And the amount of power that he puts behind it is like... It is ridiculous. And the fact that he does it every time is just stupid to see. Through ball that. There you go. Name on the ball. Fake shot. Well played. Double Y. Oh my God. Can we get... Oh my God. I'm not sure who that actually was that got outpaced there. But look at the pace. And look at the determination to get onto that ball. And even go for a first time finish. And make it go into the back of the net. It's the last minute. We pass it into the inside. He's done an offside trap at a terrible time. He's dropped the controller. You know what? Let's go for a finesse shot. Okay, I, I tried to make it hard for him because the guy literally dropped the controller. It's the 90th minute. He knew I was probably going to score. I was like, you know what? Let's make it hard for him. Let's try to go for a long shot. And it still goes in the back of the net. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing two games with Olmo. Even though it says four games right there, two of the games, the person literally saw our team, paused the game, and then just straight up left. So yeah, for me, we count it as two. It's simple as that. Now, when it comes down to the goals, eight goals. Eight goals in two games come on man the guy was a goal scoring machine out there there was even occasions that i was trying to really test out his shooting ability and he was still impressing me so yeah shooting ability is definitely definitely top tier and we even got ourselves a single assist 
as well. Now, this card is going for 220k. Do I believe he is worth that? 100%. He is a player that's got five star skill moves with a four star weak foot that's got pace, got dribbling, got shooting, and got passing. And it even has that aggression to his game. Boys, 220k is a very, very good price for him. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace wise, you saw in so many occasions, this guy was outpacing plays for fun out there. So for the pace, I am going to give him, I would say, like a 9.5 out of 10. He was insanely fast. Shooting ability, he had a crazy shot to his game. He really did. And there was even an occasion right at the end where, you know, I tried to test out his long shots just for the sake of doing it because we all knew if I went forward inside the box, he would have finished it anyway. So I said, why not? Let's go for a long shot. And the guy hits it crossbar down. Like, what am I actually seeing? And the, another thing that I really did enjoy about him was I shot with the left, it would go in. I shoot with the right, it would go in. It didn't matter. So he was very unpredictable inside that box, especially with those five-star skill moves as well. So for the shooting, I am going to give him, I'd say, like a solid 9.3 slash 9.4 out of 10. It definitely is up there. Passing ability, solid pass, solid pass. And the thing is, right, I can turn at the left, perfect pass. Turn at the right, perfect pass. The LBYs work perfectly as well. So for the passing, I am going to give him, I'd say, like a solid 9.1 out of 10. Dribbling ability, as I said, felt really good on the ball. You saw it in multiple occasions. I was just out there, you know, trying to go for skill runs and I was trying to overdo it sometimes, but there were certain occasions me overdoing it kind of worked in my favor, but there was a lot of other occasions they obviously didn't. So for the dribbling, I will say, I will say like a 9.4. A 9.4 out of 10 for the dribbling. And for the physicals, the strength was nothing special, I would say. But the aggression was something I really did enjoy. Like, once he lost the ball, you could see that he instantly was sprinting straight back to it and trying to get it back. And that is something I really did enjoy about him. And obviously, the stamina as well, make him making him last for the whole 90 minutes is always going to be a plus. So, for the physicals, I am going to give him, I'll say like an 8.2. An 8.2 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, boys, I am going to give Dan. Danny Olmo, I will say like a, I say like a 9.2, a 9.2 out of 10. He is an amazing card. He really is. But I feel like a lot of people might not like him because of how aggressive he is when it comes down to playing in a cam position or even sometimes playing in a striker position as well. I would say in the striker position, he is less aggressive because there wasn't many runs he made in behind. He always like kind of wanted the ball to his feet. But as soon as he got into the cam position, my God, this guy was making runs for fun out there. And he was even sometimes as high as the striker in a 4 2 3 1 formation. So yeah, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to like him because of that. But there's going to be a lot of other people that obviously like that aggressive cam, like a, like a Bruno Fernandes kind of player. And obviously, you know, they're going to go ahead and obviously pick him up. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. For, for now, peace.